All right, so before we get started with this, I want to give a big shout out to Jeff Geerling. Uh, he's the one who made me aware of this, so I wanted to give him uh, a, a big shout out before we get started. So uh, I actually bought this ratcheting screwdriver um, a while back. It was probably uh, last year or a few months ago. And the, the point is that I wanted something with interchangeable bits that was also ratcheting so that I could build it when I'm working on computers or servers or uh, what, whatever the case is, I can be able to do it with one hand. And a ratcheting screwdriver uh, was the best case. Now I went on Amazon and it looked like between the number of reviews that were on there, the best value was this, the Williams screwdriver. Now um, I really like it, it feels good, I like the grip. Um, it's a good product. I really like it. You can, the ratchet on it is very satisfying. The amount of give or slop is, it's there, but it's probably about a millimeter, maybe one to two millimeters. It's not bad at all. And the best part is that it costs $35, which is a good price for a very good quality ratcheting screwdriver. Now, the one kind of uh, glaring omission that I think, um, exists is the bit storage. It does come with four, uh, or well, five total, but one's right here. Um, five total bits, and if you want to store them, you put them in the back, screw this on, uh, and it's getting caught to my nail clipper, so it's got a magnetic uh, tip as well, which is nice for working with computers. And then, it just kind of, it's a baby rattle, basically. So, that's a, a big glaring screwdriver. Now, there are, have been other screwdrivers, one in particular, that has hit the market recently, and it costs twice as much. This is 35, the other one costs $70. It does include a bit holder in the back, which is nice. Is that worth paying double the freaking price? Absolutely not. I think that that is a ripoff. I think that it is a scam. And what I wanna do is encourage you guys to buy this one, but if you do like the idea of a detachable bit holder, that is what this video is about. So, thanks to Mr. Jeff Geerling, I was able to find the STL file online for this. This is a bit holder for the Williams screwdriver. It is made specifically for this screwdriver. It is designed to fit into the twist cap on the back and hold all your bits. So, uh, what you would do is, I'm going to load it up here. Now, this, I just used a, a Prusa printer for this. Um, that's just what I had. Uh, I actually was able to use the one at school. And um, I just load it up. I use the STL file and then the Prusa slicer that comes um, pre-packaged with it. I was able to use that to turn it into G-code. And then from there, it was just a matter of loading it onto the printer. And this was done in, I think it was, it took about an hour, an hour and 15 to print. So it didn't take long at all. And um, it will print with some um, standoffs on the bottom here. So as you can see, you can kind of see it on camera. But um, I, in order to get it to fit, I had to burn the edges to get it kind of smooth so it's going to sit in there flush. So um, it's really simple. Um, you, the idea is that you print it vertically like that. Um, so when you're arranging your stuff in the Prusa slicer, that's how you're going to arrange it. Very, very simple. But um, it's just, it's, it's free, guys. It's a, it's a, as long as you have a 3D printer, this is essentially a free upgrade to your screwdriver. So you just put it in there, a little something like that. It sits actually almost perfectly flush. So you can see there, it fits. So there you go. Um, it does move a little bit, but I don't have, no, you can take it out. But um, just to give you an idea of how well this fits. It, it's got barely any room. So it's, I'm trying, I'm trying to like wiggle it out here, but it's not, it's not, even if it's, and this is full of bits, guys. This isn't empty. This is full of bits. And I can feel it wiggling a bit, but it's not, it's not, it's not coming out. <laughs> it's not coming out. So, as you can see, the fit is very, very nice on it. Um, and then, once you're ready, you put it in, screw it in, and then, no more baby rattle. So there you go. That is it. That is a 3D printed bit holder for the Williams screwdriver. Thank you to Jeff Geerling. I'm going to have the uh, STL file. Um, I forget what, it's not Thingverse. Um, it's hosted on some uh, 3D printing website. I'll have the link down in the, the description below if you want to go print this for yourself. But guys, the, the message of this video is to show you 
the the 3D insert, obviously. But what I really want the main video of this, the the main message of this video to be is, please do not buy overpriced crap. Do not buy something that has, you know, the same functionality for double the price. Okay. I don't don't buy something just because it's a particular brand. Buy something that's practical. If you want a ratcheting screwdriver and you want the best value, the best bang for the buck, buy the Williams. It's the best one on the market right now. $35, you get five bits, you get a ratcheting screwdriver that feels great, and the torque is awesome. I can start a screw and screw it all in with one hand. Don't need to, you know, um, use two hands to start it. The ratchet feels great. It's easy to grip on the shaft. It's awesome. Buy this. Don't buy overpriced garbage. All right, rant over. Hope you guys found this video interesting. Um, I'm going to have the STL files linked down below, as I said before. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.